for me to be here. You know, um, a six-year-old was saying the Lord's Prayer, and it sounded something like this. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trash passes, as we forgive those who pass trash against us. <laughs> Got any trash passes in here? No raising hands. A mother gave her young son two quarters to go to church. And she says, well, one quarter is for you, and the other is for Jesus. So as he walked along, one of the quarters fell down in the ditch. And he tried to get it out. He said, well, Jesus, there goes your quarter. <laughs> now, if he'd have given that one that quarter that God saved, he might have got a dollar back. Right? That's right. Mm. God is good. How many in this room ever thought that you would live to see the day when we had an African American president of the United States? That's right, he deserves it. Let's give our president a hand. President Barack Obama. God is good for such a time as this. George Washington was quoted as saying that a black man would be president when pigs well, I guess the swine flu. <laughs> Some people say that I resemble Michelle Obama, which is a great compliment to me. But you know, we do have something in common, though. We both have secret service. Do you know, I can't shake them. They follow me everywhere I go. When I came in here this morning, they followed me right in here. I just can't shake goodness and mercy. All they right. followed me everywhere I go. Anybody have secret service in here? All right. Yeah, God is good. God is good. But you know, the Obamas are a great family. Another man that understood family life was King Solomon in the Old Testament. Some say he was the wisest man in the world. But I don't know how wise he can be with 700 wives and 300 concubines. That's a thousand women, y'all. That's a whole lot of pampers. I don't know how good he'd do with a DC wife, though. Because I tell you, them thousand women would probably reduce to about 800, you know what I mean? Woo. I came downstairs one day and the Lord has blessed us with three sons. I found my middle son drawing all over my coffee table. I said, son, are you drawing all over mom's coffee table? No. You know liars can't go to heaven. Are you going to heaven, mommy? Yes. Would you like to go to heaven someday? No, I'll stay here with daddy. <laughs> He used to suck his thumb too much, so the pediatrician said, you know, you keep sucking your thumb like that, your tummy's going to swell up. So later that day, he and my husband were in the Safeway checkout line, and there was a pregnant lady standing in front of him. I'm so glad I wasn't there. He looked at her stomach, looked up at her, and said, I know what you've been doing. The checkout lady looked at my husband like, what have you been teaching that boy? <laughs> so we were at a church banquet, and um, oh, I just knew I looked good. I had a long weave, you know, and it had some blonde in there, and I thought I looked really good. So I was saying something that I thought was so profound. So I turned to my husband and I said, honey, isn't that just so profound? He said, I don't know, but that thing on your head is sliding back. <laughs> God knows how to humble the proud, doesn't he? <laughs> so I dedicated this song to all the weed wearers in the room. You know who you are. Don't raise your hand. And I'm going to do a little practice when I say, Oh, 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 yes, I'm the great.
pretender. You say, I'm the great pretender. Pretending that this is my head. My weave is such, I pretend too much. It's too tight, but no one can tell. Your tithes. 
God only wants 10%, but if you check bounces, we'll take 25%. <laughs> the topic for the sermon next week will be, what is hell? Come early and listen to our choir practice. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.